Wow. <laughs> um, well, when I planned the trip to come, I didn't expect Willie here to join me, but I had a really bad bike accident on the 4th of July and had to get surgery. <laughs> Go figure. I think it's kind of funny, but <laughs> <laughs> I've had so many things. I just keep a, be of good cheer and just know that, you know, I can, I can always learn from something. Um, I, I just want to just start off with a little, just a little quote. Um, power, power without love is sentimental and anemic. My first is um, everything that I've been able to do in my life. It's been driven by love. So I definitely haven't been anemic. I've had, number one, I think the Lord. I couldn't have done it without him. I know that a lot of times I probably push myself harder, and it probably drove Mark, Coach Martin crazy. <laughs> He got to the point where he said, can we, especially after my emergency surgeries on my leg, you tell me if you have a splinter in your pinky. Because <laughs> I, I did have a lot of injuries, but I think a lot of it was I pushed myself really, really hard. And sometimes it got me in trouble, but um, I loved what I did. And I loved my coach, and I loved my teammates. And um, so I think the Lord, he helped me get through it. And I'm grateful for his love because that's the power that helped me through it. And second, I'd really, um, the power of love that I was driven by was by my mom and dad. My mom couldn't make it here today, but in a way, my dad's here. He passed away unexpectedly five years ago. So he's here. <laughs> and, um, Amazing parents. They taught me how to work hard, really hard, and it's helped me throughout my whole life. And um, I'm so grateful for them. And I'm so grateful for my my brother. And I don't know if you guys know him, but there was actually a picture of me with one of them. She was in our conference at one point. She transferred, but I'm a I'm an identical triplet. And um. So to have two sisters was just such a blessing. We always said it's, I don't know why we got so blessed to be sent down in a package of three, but <laughs> um, I'm so grateful for them, and their love and support has helped me so much. And um, next, I'd really, the power of love that drove me through a lot of things, especially when it got really hard. With Coach Martin, I know I was really hard on myself, and a lot of times I believed in what I wanted, but I didn't believe in myself, and he believed in me no matter what. He took me on his team because I, I ran myself into the ground my senior year, and um didn't make my parents very happy, but um, I, I ran like four events every single meet, and it was just, it was hard on my body, but I did it because I'm this way I am. And anyway, so I ended up going to Adams State injured, and um, Coach Martin didn't care. He saw, he saw what I could do. He saw what what I didn't know, and that helped me so much because there's other schools that I wanted to go to, but to have someone, when I met him, I met so many coaches, but when I met Coach Martin, I knew there was something different about him. I knew that he didn't, he cared about you as an individual, and um, he had to put up with a lot of injuries, <laughs> but he loved me no matter what, and he still believed in me. And um, I think one time that I really started believing that was I raced one time, and he's like, Kimmy, you can run this time. Like, he said it to the tenth of a second. 
And he's like, follow the plan, and you can do that. And I was like, you know what? I got to start believing him, and I, I can do this. And so I ran the race, and um, it was awesome. And he, like, came up and hugged me, like, what do you think your time was? And I was like, I don't know. And he showed me the watch, and it was exactly what he said. And um, from that moment, I knew, I knew that he knew what he was doing. I knew it before, but um, so... <laughs> I definitely, I definitely wasn't anemic in love from Coach Martin, and he was, he was kind of, I call him my second daddy sometimes because he, he really was there. Um, and I'm so grateful for the enemy, and I'm, I'm so grateful for my teammates, my team family. Um, you guys really helped me a lot, especially when I was injured a lot. This wasn't done running. I, I think I already told you it was a bike accident, but I had to get an emergency surgery. I don't know what it is with that, but <laughs> um, anyways, I'm so grateful for my teammates. I, I I am so glad I didn't go anywhere else and and run. I probably I probably wouldn't even have finished my first year because there's there's a lot of coaches that you know they don't care if you're injured. They don't. They just don't. They want you to run, and no matter what. And Coach Martin wasn't like that. He, 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 he took his time with me. And I mean, when I started running after my surgeries, because I had to get the other leg done, he let me run like five seconds at a time. <laughs> I was like, and I had drop foot, partial drop foot on my left foot, so I couldn't feel it. So it was kind of weird, but. He built me up, like, so smart, and it, I had to have a lot of patience, but I've never had a problem down in there ever, and I'm so grateful that he, I trusted him, and, um, and then I'm so grateful for um, everybody in the RMAC, especially the board and everyone that put this together and all the board that makes up people that decide who gets this, and and um, I know Sarah's not here, but she's she's been one of my best friends. And um, it's kind of funny that two little eager girls come to Adams State. And I'm so glad that she came here. I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't have known about Adams State, but I can't believe I didn't know about it. It's a great program. But anyways, I am so grateful, and I'm I'm just so grateful for everyone here and for all your support and. Um, just the power of love that's driven me my whole life. I'm just so grateful for it. And um, and I just can't thank you enough. And and I want to thank Liz for being my guest today. <laughs> She's been a great friend. She even picked me up from the Denver airport today. And believe me, it's been a long day. I've been up since 3, but it's been worth it. Um, I'm just glad I'm here, willing or not. <laughs> But thank you so much.